Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 4th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you all. Much love to all of my new subscribers from around the world. I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Staying aware and prepared. Large coronal hole coming in from the sun. Expect some new space weather over the next 48 hours. We'll be watching. Some electrifying filament eruptions. Outgoing. Watch this. Zzz. And then looking at the sun in another light, 195 angstroms, focusing in on the large coronal hole. So we're just gonna look at the spiral map showing all of the cosmic energy coming from the sun. And we can see all the other planets in this diagram. The yellow is Earth, that green one is Venus, and the square green one is the Parker Space Polar, or Parker Solar Probe, which is on its way to the sun. It will be orbiting the sun at a closest ever satellite. It's very interesting. So you can see here, that wave will be hitting us within the next 48 hours. And we're just gonna look at the total precipital water map across the world, looking at that weird wave anomaly that goes right across the whole screen. Now I saw that about three weeks ago, but I haven't seen that anomaly since and it's popped up again. So yeah, we will see. What happens in the coming days here with these tropical storms that are going in the Pacific? I know Wallaka is on its way to Canada, believe it or not. I'll show you the track of Hurricane Wallaka. Cyclone development here. Big time possibility heading towards Yemen. And possibly one heading towards Madagascar. So watch for cyclone development in the Indian Ocean. and watch for Wallaka, as I said, to hop onto the atmospheric river and ride to Canada. Sergio still uncertain what he wants to do. And Leslie is quite content dancing around in the Atlantic Ocean, teasing us. We'll see what she does here in the coming days. Very interesting hurricane season, to say the least, around the world. Speaking of around the world, let's look at our five day forecast here brought to you by Meteo Mike and Meteo Earth, an app that everybody here can download for themselves and you can get the same five day forecast that I get. And I like to show you what's coming because winter is on its way, if not here already. Parts of Alberta, a little spike in temperature, but then yeah, a large low pressure system coming in from the Pacific heading right over the Rockies and down into Alberta. That large storm heading across northern Quebec and parts of Greenland later in the week. Watching the large low pressure in the Pacific Ocean. Now you can see it kind of sucks up Wallaka, riding the atmospheric river 
and then heads right into the Alaskan Peninsula, British Columbia, funneling into Alberta. So our next snowstorm, are you ready for round two? Most likely will be Monday, Tuesday. Look for another 10 to 20 centimeters of snow with this. Typhoon Kong Ray making landfall tonight in Korea and then heading north and diminishing into colder waters. But Kong Ray looks like it wants to join the rest of the low pressure systems in the Alaskan Peninsula as that large low pressure system just keeps building and building and has not moved for days. So yeah, watching here, five day forecast, heading to Yemen, most likely a category two cyclone by Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. So watch out, stay aware and prepared in that area. Stay tuned to your local weather forecast because I'm sure that they'll be talking about it. Again, I want to thank you all for subscribing to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are now 3,800 strong, and I want to thank you all. I got so many awesome and loyal subscribers who love to share with their friends and family from across the world, and then that's how it grows. We need to share and show that we care so that we can stay aware and prepared. So yeah, overlooking Europe, and here's our flat earth for every flat earther out there I'm just kidding no I'm not really because flat earthers are just nuts I'm glad they stay away from my channel <laughs> but anyways again this is YouTube world and this is my channel and morning dew is here for you we're gonna look at the earthquakes from around the world now is the last 12 hours for earthquakes 4.7 most recent going off here in mountain columbia a couple minor earthquakes here 3.0 and 3.3 california as well today san clement southeastern tip so 3.3 3.0 and also looking over alaska as this is my forecasted area for the for the week as those large low pressure centers are spinning there, atmospheric compression earthquakes are on the rise. Russia getting some most recent, recent action as well. Indonesia, not too many deep earthquakes today, so that's kind of a good sign. But this 4.4 in Tajik Tajikistan, yeah, that was a pretty deep one. Looking over the world, last seven days for earthquakes. So it has been busy in my forecasted region. And it has been hella busy in Indonesia as well. Also watching a little bit of movement here, South Sandwich Islands. There was a 5.2 that went off yesterday. Michael Volcano. Another 4.0 there in Argentina. So yeah, please, everybody, I encourage you to have a plan, stay aware and prepared for these extreme weather events and earthquakes. Have a good survival bag, handy, ready, with everything that you need in it. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.